the, these are the geniuses that Marvel and Disney hires to write their shows and their movies. L listen to this. I was not very steeped in the comics. I didn't, I didn't read any comics or do any research. I wasn't familiar with comics. I wasn't familiar with the movies. We didn't lean into a whole lot of the history of the comic books. Yeah, candidly, we were not enormous um, comic fans. I wasn't super into superhero comics when I was a kid. I read a lot of like indie press stuff. First thing I was told is don't read the comics. Uh -oh. really? As a creator, they put you in a bubble. They don't let you talk about any of the other projects, Whoa. right? You know, they're they're up for anything. Yes. We ultimately decided to redefine it for the series and thought that it worked uh, better for the story that we're trying to tell. Did you ever read the, did you, did you, you, you've no. never read the comic book. When the DVD comes out, I'm going to read a Thor comic book. They don't know the comic books. That's why, and we've all known this for quite some time. I, I, I've, I've been telling everyone this, that it's not about giving you a good story. It's not about uh, giving you the, the, the stories that already work. No, it's about pushing the agenda. That's what it's always been. Right here. One more time. Let's go back to these geniuses, right? This is Jessica Gao. And she is the brains behind the She-Hulk show. Let's listen to what she says one more time. Right here. Let's listen to this genius. And I wasn't super into superhero comics when I was a kid. I read a lot of like indie press. Not into comic books. And that's who these geniuses over at Marvel, over at Disney, hired to write She-Hulk. And it's not just her. I'm not just picking on her. Right? Black Widow, right here. She starts it off. I was not very steeped in the comics. I didn't, I didn't right read here. any comics or do any research. I wasn't familiar with comics. WandaVision wasn't familiar with the comics. I wasn't familiar with the movies. We didn't lean into a whole lot of the history of the comic books. Yeah, candidly, we were not enormous um, comic fans. Not enormous comic fans. That's what this genius right here, uh, Kaz Frupo, is is not a fan of the comics and they hired this genius to write the eternal show the movie it was a movie it wasn't a show and it was a huge box office disaster for disney right that is when it all comes down to these geniuses over at marvel over at disney they are not focused on hiring talented people that actually know the stuff to write the stuff and as a result they've been flopping left and right and this is why they're doing this. And thank you, Elon Musk, for tweeting this out. This is why they're doing this. Right here. Here it is. This is a leaked pamphlet from Disney. Some spies for Elon Musk or something got this for him. But he tweeted this out. And apparently, if you read this pamphlet, Disney does not care about writing a good story. They don't care about providing you with good stories. No, 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 no. It's all about including, and you can read that here, underrepresented groups. That's right. If you are from an underrepresented group, just apply to Disney. You're going to get a job. Hell, I am part of one of these groups. I think I should submit my application for, you know, writing Star Wars, being in Star Wars. Hell, maybe I could even be in the next Pirates of the Caribbean movie. Here it is. Here is the star for the next Pirates of the Caribbean movie. And it is none other than the beef's own Ayo Edubari. That's this fine lady right here. Very talented, by the way. I love her in the beef. I love her in that show. I think her acting is tremendous. But you see, now she's going to take her acting talent over to the deep blue sea, because now she's going to be the star of the new Pirates of the Caribbean movie. That's right. Disney, after, you know, sticking a sword in their foot, a pirate sword, and firing Johnny Depp after the whole Amber Heard debacle, they were forced to, to reimagine the Pirates of the Caribbean movies for a modern audience. And what they're doing, these geniuses, <laughs> they are they are recasting Jack Sparrow, recasting Johnny Depp with with the beefs, Ayo Edebury. 
She is going to be the star for the next Pirates of the Caribbean movie. She is the one that is going to jump on board the Black Pearl, become its captain, and sail it right into a cliff. Because that's what's going to happen with this franchise. Let's face it. If they don't change the name, if they don't call it something else, not Pirates of the Caribbean, everyone is going to destroy this movie. Nobody's going to go watch it, and thus... Disney is going to ruin yet another billion dollar franchise, right? They've already destroyed Star Wars, they destroyed Indiana Jones, uh, the, M the entire MCU. And now, guess who's on the pirate chopping block? Pirates of the Caribbean. But anyway, guys, you guys let me know what you think down in the comments. And like always, don't forget to subscribe. Sensational.